not working. Focus. Process of the whole journey. Journey? <laughs> Ang kwento ko sa previous video ko na ang arte. <laughs> Hello everyone! So welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Micah and yeah. So this is kind of a prequel to my previous video which I'll just link down below if you haven't watched it. So after I posted that, a lot of you messaged me like questions and sharing their own struggles, ganon. When I started working out, like I had wished na someone was there to like answer my questions and just go through the journey with me, but I didn't. So I just um, gleaned from the people that I know and like watched YouTube videos and um, research on my own so that I can like know how to better approach my fitness journey so in hopes to also inspire someone or motivate someone or answer someone else's questions this is the video for you just a quick disclaimer you guys i am not a fitness expert i am just speaking out of experience and the things that i went through and learned through the process so yeah so question number one how long have you been working out um, I just started my fifth month now. Question number two. What's your workout? Basically, it's super important to find a workout that works for you, for your lifestyle, and a workout that you enjoy. Nung ECQ, I tried ng nag workout ako ng hapon or like after lunch or something. Like basically, may laman na yung tummy ko. And there's a big difference if you do fasted workouts. Like first thing in the morning, yun yung unam una mong gagawin. So rather than explaining to you in depth whatever I do, I'm just gonna do a video montage here. What? I just have a few notes that I want to add, so yeah. My workout was progressive. When I first started working out, like yung insanity max lang talaga, and then I moved to adding treadmill. After nga Kobe thing, then I moved to Pamela, and then I moved to MadFit. So, I didn't try to do everything agad at once, and then I just progressed through it. I wasn't rushing in any way. It's also important to switch up your workouts. Like, don't stick to a workout for the entirety of your um, weight loss journey or fitness journey. About rest days, when I do lift, I rest on Wednesdays. I just do ab workouts. Then, on weekends, since lately I'm medyo busy, so I just don't work out at all. Like, even treadmill. It's basically a lazy day for me. There are days na I'm tired or I'm puyat, so... I do the same workouts but like less intense. I don't want to push myself that much because you have to like listen then to your body and know what it wants and stop when you have to. Next question, how do you manage to work out every day? So I told myself during ECQ that I had to like build new habits to better myself so I guess yung routine na yon, I just got used to it and I 
adapted to it. I have no other time than to work out since I work at 9 a.m. Kaya I sleep at 10 and wake up nga at 5:30. I'm not a morning person actually. Yeah, if you wanna achieve things, you're gonna make time for it. So basically, the first three hours of my day is all about me. Like. Yeah, I work out, I prepare my breakfast and lunch, and the autops also. And yeah, basically it changes my whole mood to just focus on myself first thing in the morning. So yeah. Next question. Doesn't tracking your weight make you praning? Ask yourself, what's your goal? I weigh myself daily because I want to be more aware with what's happening to my body and whether or not what I'm doing is effective. Yeah, maybe nakakapraning, but I'd rather know kaysa yung I'm just beating around the bush blindsided. Sa ibang tao, it doesn't work, but it does to me, so. But, friendly reminder na weight isn't everything. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that even more, but Hindi yun yung basihan ng progress mo. Di lang yun. Next question. Do I really have to drink so much water? This is 40 ounces. I've been trying yung Just Waste Flux. So it's basically like BCAA. It helps like repair your muscles. I'll just update you if, if it's effective or not. But yeah, basically I just don't like my water plain when I work out. And then for the rest of the day, I drink two more of this so in totality that's 120 ounces so yeah so why do you need to drink a lot of water well your body will love you your skin will love you for being so hydrated and when you pee a lot you remove the toxins i mean you can just look it up there's a lot of benefits in hydrating yourself so drink your water <laughs> next question What's a Fitbit? It tracks your steps, your heart rate, your calories, and your miles taken. Yeah, I wear this every day basically. And I know it's not like the results na on the dot, exact results, but it's a good gauge of how active you are in a day. So why not? So if you're curious about it, yung goals ko for my Fitbit is 10,000 steps, 2,000 calories, 4 miles, and 4 hours active. Next question! What did you do to get slimmer arms? I want slimmer thighs too. In a nutshell, you can't spot your duct. So you can't just lose fats here or like in your belly. What you do is just keep on doing cardio and lift weights so you lose more body fat. You lose body fat in the entirety of your body. It's just some people retain more fat in some areas. Like for me, it's my belly. So yeah, we just have to keep on going. Next question! Do you take weight loss pills? Meal replacements? Whey? I ko sa previous video ko na I did try like weight loss pills and yung mga meal replacements. Like I, I swear, I tried so much but I easily just gained back the weight kasi nga hindi ko na appreciate yung process of the whole journey. It's different kasi kapag pinaghirapan mo isang bagay and that way hindi ka agad -agad, like babalik to your old ways. And well, honestly, you can get the benefits of weight loss pills sa whole foods. So no, I don't take pills, I don't take meal replacements, but I do drink whey protein. Not until nag third month ako sa journey ko. Two months pa lang. Two months pa lang ako nagpa-protein. I use um, Whale. Whale Co. A bag lasts mga 15 servings. You really need protein in your system to lose weight. It curbs your appetite. It maintains your muscles. Protein has a lot of benefits so you can just look that up. Yun din yung na-learn ko na hindi nakakataba or nakaka bulk up yung protein. You can just search it up kung gano kadaming protein you're supposed to take. Next question! What's your diet? I also mentioned in my previous video, watch it, <laughs> um, na I'm on a caloric deficit and I track my calories using the My Fitness Pal app. A lot we're sharing like, ang hirap to 
cut out rice, meal preps, overnight oats, and ang dand ng chicken breast. And honestly, it is. You don't have to eat boring food, honestly. Chicken breast. Uh, recently, I tried a vegan diet, which we'll see how that goes. So you have to ask yourself, is your diet sustainable? If you find yourself failing over and over again to follow through a diet, maybe it's not for you. Like for me, I tried IF a lot of times, but for my lifestyle, I just can't sustain it for a long period of time. You just have to find what's gonna be okay for your mental health, for your body, for your lifestyle. I ayaw mo naman yung parang sobrang nagsustruggle ka mag-diet na parang pinaparusahan mo na yung sarili mo para lang pumayat ka or whatever goal it is that you have. Last question! So, how do you stay motivated? It's hard and I'm not always motivated honestly and lately sobrang nakaka um, discouraged and I'm getting impatient with my whole journey because I lost a lot of weight at first tapos ngayon parang the last bits of body fat is just super hard to lose the best advice that I got was to be patient because no building was built overnight and I was like oh my gosh like pfft. like oh nga naman you can't just like overnight or like even just a month na working out you can't just easily be built like oh my gosh I'm explaining this so badly. A lot can happen in a month. And I'll just post somewhere here. Like yung progress on month to month basis. Just so you can see how big of a difference consistency can make. Yes, I still get discouraged sometimes. But what matters is just you keep on going and you remind yourself that this is a lifestyle, this is not a quick fix, this is not something that you just do for a period of time and then okay ka na. No, it's not like that. You have to keep on working on your body and you have to just work with what God gave you. Because some people are so lucky that they lose fat again, they build muscles again. They're so, so lucky. But what are you going to do when you claim it? Right? This is what you have, so you have to just work with it. There's gonna be a lot of bumps in the road, and you're gonna have a lot of cheat days. You're gonna, your weight is gonna fluctuate a lot, and sometimes tatamarin ka mag workout, but it's okay, di ba? Because this is a lifestyle. This is something you're gonna do for the rest of your life. So just have to keep on going. So yeah, that's it. I hope you got something from that video and if you have more questions for me or if you have more tips for me or kung may mali man ako nasabi, please, please, please don't hesitate to comment down below or message me personally or email me or something. I would love that. When you're open to corrections, um, that's how you grow. So yeah, um, stay tuned to my next video and I'll see you soon. Bye! Okay, I forgot to say, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So, yeah.